Happy Friday everyone, Headhunter Fishing. Wanted to do a quick intro video. We're not uh, not gonna be fishing this time. Uh, this is a cooking video. We're gonna be um, celebrating the FSFA Club for Sport Fishing Association's uh, annual blank, uh, banquet where we recognize all the uh, um, basically heavyweight catches of the year and, and award our club champion um, and also fish of the year, uh, which might or might not be um, some people you know. Um, a lot of people join the club here in Brevard County. It's been in uh, existence for well over 50 years and it's been a, a great club to be part of. And uh, my wife, uh, Casey, AKA Trophy Wife, is on the board of directors. She's actually the club's treasurer, has been for a couple years now. So um, we're gonna start off. Um, I'll show you guys a little bit of what I'm doing, but we're gonna be making, um, uh, Captain Leon's going to be doing some smoke tri tips and pork loins. Uh, I myself am doing um, sauteed green beans, um, my famous smoked mac and cheese, which I'll show you on the video. And uh, I think we're doing salad and Lord knows what else. Some great desserts too. So, um, part of the smoked mac and cheese, uh, we're going to be doing uh, pork butt. Also, going to use some of this uh, Jack Daniels uh, pork rub. Nothing wrong with a little bit of whiskey. Uh, I'm going to be making my Famed smoked fish dip. I got a bunch of amberjack and kingfish um, thawing out. And then also, uh, Casey's putting together a bunch of raffles. Uh, there's going to be a kid's uh, tackle box, cast nets, um, a captain's bag, you know, aka captain. Uh, and I think there might be some Captain Morgan in it. <laughs> um, dolphin, tuna, you know, and just a lot of cool inshore kingfish. Uh, I wouldn't mind winning that one. Uh, but yeah, a ton of raffles that the club does uh, for its members. Um, they're going to be giving away a grill and all kinds of stuff. And unfortunately, when you guys are watching this, you are uh, probably a week or two late of actually being to or being able to attend the banquet. But hey, um, always go. Uh, feel free to join the club. Check it out. It's fsfa. Dot, or I'm sorry, fsfaclub.org. Um, once again, fsfaclub.org. Uh, you can check it out. It's fifty dollars a year for a family membership. But we have an annual points competition. Um, do monthly meetings, which um, this month or um, upcoming months, we've already got some pretty famous speakers lined up. We've got uh, Bouncer Smith. Uh, he's a legend in his own right. Uh, Jacked up fishing. We've got um, Jetty Rocks fishing. I actually got to fish with Mike D. Uh, one of my videos uh, from a while back, uh, a few weeks ago. He's an awesome dude. He's going to come talk to the club. Uh, I think Joey Antonelli is going to come out again, some local captains like Alex Huey and Glenn Austin and Lisa Fitzgerald, who's uh, uh, one of the world-renowned women redfish anglers. She's going to be speaking. So we've got some really cool guys coming out uh, and ladies uh, to speak to our club members. But uh, check it out, $50 a month for a family membership, fsfaclub.org, and uh, we'll get to cooking and I'll show you what we're going to be doing. Headhunter, more to come. Hey guys. I'm gonna go ahead and make the fish dip. Um, just want to kind of go through all my general ingredients. Um, start with um, obviously some smoked fish. Uh, we got a combination of amberjack and uh, kingfish, but um, yeah, we're gonna add sour cream, Duke's mayo, some paprika to top it off. These Wickles relish, uh, Philadelphia cream cheese, onions, celery. Uh, some spices, some garlic, some lime juice, uh, a little bit of magic, and then uh, you just basically crumble all the fish up, put it in a bowl, and uh, get to creating. So we'll show you throwing it all in a bowl. We're going to make a double batch today because we're feeding uh, 100 plus people tomorrow uh, some appetizer kingfish dip with um, club crackers. Oh, and I forgot the magic too. Uh, hold on. Got to go to the fridge. Trappy's bowl. Best hot sauce ever made. So you guys got to try that stuff out, but yeah, we're gonna get to creating uh, the fish dip. So more to come All right guys, what we're gonna do is we start. We're just gonna cut this celery up trim it up And then basically with the fish dip you just gotta Get it to where everything's in bite-sized pieces clean up all the Leaves off of it Basically, what I like to do is take these things and cut them long ways and get tiny little pieces like this and just dice them real fine. 
into small little pieces and then that way they're bite sized. So we'll get to dicing. And just like that, guys, it's done. And since we're making a double batch, what I'm gonna try and do here is just, you gotta eyeball this stuff, you know. That's about half, that's about half. We'll stick it in two bowls and start mixing. All right, guys, we're onto the onions. Um, generally, I like using sweet onions. Um, but basically, you cut them in half. And then, a little trick a, a chef taught me one time, but you basically follow the lines on these onions. And you want to, no one wants a huge chunk of onion, raw onion, when they bite into anything, really, unless, you know, some people like it, maybe in salads, but I know I don't. So when I'm doing these, I'm going to do a fine dice. I cut it many times across there and then come across this way. And then voila, you're done. Real fine diced onions we're going to put. And these are kind of small, so we're going to put one and a half onion per bowl. And uh, we'll keep going on this and uh, we'll get them all mixed. All right, guys. Uh, another little trick with the relish. That I like to do because a lot of times you get um, this stuff real juicy um, is to put it in a real fine strainer and literally push down on it and you'll see it's starting to basically drain a lot of that um, pickle juice out of it because you, you really want to just the actual pickles to give the flavor and the, the, the firmness not uh, all the juice to make it slimy so that's what um, the moisture comes from, the mayo, the sour cream, the cream cheese. Um, so just a little tech tip there. So we're working on the relish. All right, guys. Um, I'll show you mixing one of these bowls. Like I said, we've got two packs of cream cheese. Throw that in there. We've got the squeeze dollop of daisy. We'll probably just eyeball this, but I'm thinking about half of it. And really, I, I know you guys are asking me for us, or well, hit me up in the comments for recipes, but I don't really have a recipe. I kind of eyeball this thing, you know, kind of like when your grandma used to do. Um, mayo, probably cup, cup and a half. Um, throw that in there. And um, we got the relish, the celery, and the onions in there ready to go. So um, next up, kingfish. All right, next up, once again, the trapeze bowl. Um, this is a full bottle of hot sauce and we're doing two bowls, so I generally try and eyeball it and do about half a bottle. Mm, a little bit more. Yeah, it's about half a bottle. And uh, put that in there. Oh, and uh, some little stick here, uh, snack sticks. If you guys um, are interested in how these are made, um, go check out my video from about three or four weeks ago where um, myself and Chris Pasha has made these. These are... Um, Venison, jalapeno, and pepper jack cheese snack sticks are amazing, so check out that video. Alright, next up, I'll put some kingfish in. Hi guys, so we're working here. I got a pack of uh, amberjack, pack of kingfish. The trick with this stuff is this, of course, anything fresh is better, but for this stuff, um, you know, I smoked it when we caught it, and it was fresh then. Then you just vacuum seal it, and the stuff lasts forever. So, um, a lot of people will put this in a food processor uh, because they like it um, almost a pasty consistency. But because I put onion, celery, relish in mine, um, I like it a little more chunky. So literally, all I do, guys, is just put it in my hands, really rub it together, and it just kind of breaks it all apart. And what I'll do is do each individual piece like that and you get it down to where there's nothing in your hands left into the bowl. And then uh, once we get it all broke up and in there, we'll mix it up. All right guys, just like that, we're done. But I do want to take a little bit of fresh lime. One of these fancy little tools. Just put that in there. Not a ton, but a little bit of fresh lime makes it good. And then once that's done, the guys, it's just get in there with your hands. You got to get, you know, everything on the bottom, all the onions, all the celery, relish, cream cheese, mayo, all that stuff. This is one of my favorite things to do. Um, thanks, mom. If you watch my videos, I think my mom does watch my videos. 
um, she always let me do as a kid when we made meatloaf is just when she made it, you know, she put all the ingredients in the bowl with the ground beef and said, go make the meatloaf. And so I would do it. So yeah, just reliving my childhood, but we're making kingfish dip this time. So but just keep turning it. So you're not just mixing the top, you're kind of getting it all in there. If you see, it's getting a little bit more uh, cream here as we get the cream cheese all mixed up. And we're also helping to break that fish up a little bit more from when we did it originally. That's about the, that's about uh, all there is to it, so. Keep mixing. And we'll share the fin finished product. Alright guys, it's all mixed up. But as you mix in it, pay attention to it because um, this stuff, you want it to where, I think the trick is, is if you can take a cracker and put it in it and pull it out, but this stuff is way too thick. It's not, um, I don't know, I call moist type um, dip. So it's definitely um, needs some more. So basically, anytime that happens, you know, I know two sticks of cream cheese is enough, but what I do is add uh, more sour cream, more mayo to it. Um, and I'm kind of just eyeballing this stuff. So probably, I don't know, about a half a cup of each. Come back over here with the mayo. Because you don't want to get too much in there. Because if you get too much in there, it'll make it too um, mushy. So we'll just add some more. We'll get back to mixing it and uh, hopefully we'll get it right. All right, guys. Well, uh, um, it's the right consistency now. Um, take a little paprika and just dust the top of it. Just to give it a little color, and then we'll, we'll, we're going to put it in a, a plate with some actual pieces of uh, the smoked fish too, some celery garnish. I'll sell you the end product, but you know, uh, if you have wonder why I didn't put salt and pepper, um, anything else like that in there, is because when we smoke the fish, I, I heavily dry rub this with a lot of pepper, a lot of garlic, onion powder, you know, different seasoning. But um, so it's already really got a lot of that in there. Um, but if you taste it, you need to, to modify it a little bit, add a little more garlic, add a little more this or that. It's all a matter of taste to you. So here's the finished product. Tastes spot on. I've got to thank Chuck for catching the Amberjack um, a few months ago. Nacho, JP, Chris, and Allie for catching the Kingfish uh, that we got in here. Uh, I think it was a week or two ago. But man, this stuff's great. And you can also take this stuff, little, little, you know, insider tip, not only for serving it with crackers, you know, for an appetizer, but put this stuff on a couple slices of bread with some cheese and lettuce and mayo on it, and it makes one hell of a smoked fish dip uh, sandwich. So, all right, we're going to get on to uh, the pulled pork, uh, get it wrapped up, and uh, more to come with the Headhunter cooking video, FSFA banquet. Hi, hey guys. Finished product little paprika a couple pieces of smoked fish on there and some celery tips for garnish fish tips ready to serve Need going on you know why you start at the far end don't you because you're putting those on first so they're going to cook no time because if you put them on there by the time you get the next batch going these are all flaming up. Ask me how I know. <laughs> <laughs> Ask me how I know. Why with the foil? <laughs> Very noisy. <laughs> Alright, one more. Yep. One more, right, more tray. Last of the Mohicans. Where, where do you buy your meat? Hayes Meats in Merritt mm. Island. Mm. Fat side down first. Get a little sear on the fat. There and then go. when you're when you're done with that, Ryan? Yeah. I got the next task. Okay. You have to send me some of the pictures. Video, oh, this is this is YouTube. This is all YouTube. YouTube? Oh, it's for heaven's famous. sakes! Yeah, Chef Leon's gonna be famous. 
It already is. <laughs> More than he needs. That was worth it. Quick sear on the direct heat. Move them around, rotate them. About an hour, hour and a half. Yep. Pull them off the direct and put them on the indirect. And give them a little bath. A little red wine vinegar and a little beer. Kitchen Post in California uses red wine vinegar and uh, I think canola oil when they uh, on their steaks. I don't know if you ever ate there. Yeah. The one in Casmalia or Buellton? Buellton. Casmalia. Yeah, the first first little bit you gotta kinda you gotta kinda be on your game here so you don't get real you know fricasseed if you will. And then after you care which one I you. Hi Chuck, where are you going? <laughs> Chuck loves being on video. What are we putting on there, Chef Leon? Oh, uh, we got a little, little apple cider, a little apple cider vinegar, a little beer, kind of marinade type deal. When get some beautiful you roll pork. them over, beautiful pork lines on the smoker. Oh yeah, we're getting there. And then we're doing what? 77 pounds of tri-tip. 73. 73 pounds. Yeah. Chef Leon knows how to throw a barbecue together. This stuff's gonna be wonderful. Had one job. <laughs> that looks bad. Yeah. It's okay? Way better. <laughs> Except for that man on the left. <laughs> JP, get off the stage. Oh, you think she said left? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Rob. How are you? Lots of good raffles starting to come together. All right, just a quick look at the food. What the hell? Looking good. Can't do that anymore. There's Mr. Pashos. How are we doing, sir? Good man. How you doing? I'm doing good. Yeah, those aren't fun. Salad. It's all looking good. Huge crowd, so great turnout. Well over 100 people tonight, so well, uh, successful. Good job, trophy wife. All right, try taps are done. That is a work of art. Juicy, juicy. That's it. They're done. So, it's going to be a great turnout. Hope you guys liked the video. Headhunter Fishing, FSFA, Annual Banquet, or Banquet, excuse me. I uh, got a lot of people. Um, I won't be winning nothing this year, but um, got some great trophies we're going to be giving out and uh, damn sure some good food. So, hope you liked the video. Like and subscribe, guys, and uh, we'll keep them coming. And always, always more to come.